Yeah, it's extremely rare for an anglerfish of this type to come out from the far depths of the ocean and wash up on shore here in San Diego. So to get a closer look and learn more, I came here to the Scripps Institution of Oceanography. There's probably less than 40 specimens in museums around the world of this particular species of fish. It washed ashore in Carlsbad's South Ponto Beach last week and was quickly turned over to Ben Frable here at Scripps. You know, these animals are just not regularly encountered by us. They're living in a habitat that we just don't access very often. Ben manages the marine vertebrate collection. It's about two million fish specimens from around the world. He says these fish are also known as Pacific football fish. They're called football fish, not because they look like an American football, but actually because they resemble a soccer ball. Um, kind of in terms of the spherical body and also these uh, spines on the side of their body kind of give it that octagonal pattern like a soccer ball. This one measures 10 inches long, so how deep do they go? He says anywhere from 650 down to two or 3,000 feet. A lot of deep sea uh, fishes and other animals have these kind of what we would consider pretty horrifying faces and mouths, big mouth, big teeth. And a lot of that is because the deep sea is a pretty difficult environment to live. They had never been spotted on the surface of the ocean until recently when researchers took video of this one off the Canary Islands. It's the only known sighting. And four years ago, this larger one washed up in Encinitas. They have large mouths and lots of teeth because in the deep, food is very spread out. And when they find a meal, they want to make sure it doesn't get away. And they use this little fishing lure looking thing on top of their head to attract dinner. It houses glowing bacteria bacteria that produce what we call bioluminescence. So something sees it and says, oh, that's a little shrimp, maybe it's something I can eat. They swim up thinking it's something they can eat, but unfortunately it's not. This rare fish will now be preserved for research in an isopropyl alcohol solution here for years to come. At Scripps, Brian White, CBS 8.